Zelda, Al Jermaine, Funkmaster Sterling. Mixed wow. emotion. I'm gonna become world champion. No, I didn't even. This? I didn't even. This is crazy. I didn't even think I was getting this. I didn't even want. I didn't even want this. But then, coming home. Really? <laughs> Look at he. He's even like, what the fuck are they doing? Find a way to persevere and, and find a way to win like a man. Cause that's just what I do. I don't have a quit in me. There's no quit button whenever I'm in there. So you guys might find it easy and talk about the Oscars or everything. You guys are the actors and it might be a reflection of your own spirits or whatever. And some of you guys are probably being inspired. Do you think anyone would ever try to say I was milking stuff? And for the fighters I said I would milk it. Shame on you guys. It is what it is. If you guys ever see me quit or look for a way out where a guy's putting on a half-assed rear naked choke and it's not on and you wait a couple of seconds and you look around and you go, all right, I can tap now because it looks bad. It looks like I, it looks like he's really hurting me so I can quit now. You guys are the freaking softies. I fought my ass off the entire time and I was not gonna quit in that fight. And I was gonna take my lickings or bittersweet because it's not the way I wanted to win. It's a DQ by another man making uh, illegal, an illegal move and being disqualified from the match. It is the fight. So again, it's not the way I want to win, but the rules are the rules. So I, just so you guys know, I don't feel like I am the champ because I obviously didn't win this the way I wanted to win it. But rules are in place for a reason. <clears throat> and it's mind boggling to me to know that a guy like Jan of his caliber can get to the highs of the highs, become a world champion and still make mistakes like that. Not knowing when an opponent is down, having to ask your coach if an opponent is down. Like what? Uh, I'm gonna have to go, Al, I'm sorry, Aljamain Sterling, Aljamain Curling, Sil Silver Sterling versus the ugly potato Peter Young. That fight, I, I thought Peter Young was fighting a great fight. Anyhow, he eventually ended up getting uh, hit with an illegal knee, and that was that. And I do wanna apologize to Aljamain, I really do, because I was a little upset, a little mad, but at the same time, I was more mad the fact that he ended up doing the interview and the tweets and I saw the pictures with him with the belt and I'm just like, man, it just rubbed me the wrong. But at the end of the day, it was a legal strike by by Peter the Ugly Potato Young. Oh, It fits you, bro. It fits you, bro. What I didn't like what you said was, he was cracking me. I was like, coming home, like I said, all my friends and family seen me. They knew I had this. They took it out of the bag for me. Had me put on my shoulders and wanted me to take pictures and wanted me to be proud of my performance because of the way I've carried myself and how I've gotten to this position.